Hey Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out other placements. Some of the energies of the cards are going to be flipped, so feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. And if you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. That's it. So, the person that you were dealing with in the past, there is a lot of love here. This person does love you to the moon and back. But the problem here is that you're dealing with a very shy king out here. You're shy king or queen, whoever this is, right? This person out here has gone through a breakup, a separation in the past. This person has gone through something very, very tough, okay? They, they, uh, where, where someone literally cheated on them or someone screwed them over big time. They are not being able to get over that shit, all right? They haven't healed. And probably without being healed, they fell in love with you. Now, what's happening here is that this person does love you, but they don't trust you, okay? So, which is why this person is still stuck in the past, all right? They don't express how they really, really feel. They're not confident enough about telling you how they feel, you know? So, this person, you may be asking yourself a lot of time, do they even love me? Like, what's really going on? Is there anything out there for me with this person or not? Because they can be really quiet and they're very, very smart, okay? So, this person's mastered their emotions. So, they always go on with a very balanced um, approach, all right? Now, what's happening here is that this person tried to walk away from you, okay? This person tried to emotionally detach from you. Could be for any reason, okay? Could be for work, career, goals, etc. Could be walking away from you because they don't want to commit to you or whatever it is, right? But this person's coming back, all right? They're coming back and what's on their mind is the Six of Pentacles. They definitely want an equal give and take. There's this giving, receiving energy. They know things were not fair in the past here and now this person wants to come back and they want that peace and harmony with you okay this person definitely wants something traditional with you i can see that very clearly all right they may not say it but that's what they want they want like that typical traditional setup okay where it's like you know the husband and the wife kind of energy again they see you as the queen of wands so they do see you as someone that they really really are passionate about you're like this go-getter keep in mind this person does see you as someone you know they put you on a pedestal all right so this person knows that you have a lot of options okay you're not the, they're not the only option you have and that's one of the reasons which is getting them back towards you maybe you don't give a fuck to them after the separation maybe you stop talking to them maybe you're not chasing them because the queen of wands never chases okay so that's what you're doing and guess what's that doing to them what is that doing to them by virtue of not stressing them, by not uh, messaging them, or just by not like you know being clingy needy, nine of swords, dude. This person's not sleeping at night. That's not that's not nice, guys. That's not nice. Oh, that's being really mean. But yeah, this person is not sleeping at night. This person has a lot of remorse and regret about what happened between you guys, okay? They just can't get over it. I feel that this person out here really regrets the way they acted with you in the past year, all right? But uh, this person feels very deprived, okay? They feel lack of something here. They're like, there's like that deep unhappiness out here, okay? But they're going through the dark night of the soul out here, okay? Uh, this person could be sick, okay? With a lot of worry, anxiety, you know, whatever. But they're at the breaking point out here. I feel bad saying that. All right. Uh, what's happening here is with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, this is how this person wants to move forward with you. Now, what I'm getting here is that this person does want you, okay? They want to move forward with you. This person does want commitment with you, okay? Two reasons I'm seeing why this person probably is not really ready for this, all right? A, there could be a lot of financial issues here okay this person probably is financially drained okay or uh, you know uh, this person could have even chosen someone else over you okay just for finances or this is just someone here who's just lacking that stability security due to that financial issues okay but there is a lot of delay here something that has to do with oh i don't know if i'm going to be able to take care of this person out here etc but they do want a brand new beginning with you but this is like a solid beginning that they have there is a delay out here all right because see behind the scenes the world reverse this person does not want this to win they don't want this to win no they don't want to they want to keep the cycle open here the problem here is till the cycle stays open right till you don't completely let this person go or they don't realize that they need to let go of something that is not served them this is always going to be in the reverse it's on their mind okay they're going nuts they're sleep they have sleepless nights about you but this is not going to work out unless and until this person does not shut the old cycle the old cycle does you know it includes a lot of past trauma. It includes a lot of negativity. It can include anything. But whatever this is, this 
cycle is being repeated over and over again now this person out here i'm also feeling that this person out here knows that if they end this chapter with you if they let you go what are the chances that you will be together in the next cycle right or what are the chances that you will guys will be back together and things will be okay the way they are so that's their fears out here but your advice out here is stay okay on your own all right for right now doesn't look like you need to invest into this person right now uh invest in yourself okay invest in yourself if there is an issue here where you feel that things are not balanced out here and you feel that there is no equal give and take okay if there is disharmony here there's an equality here it's okay to be on your own okay just be on your own if you feel that you are incompatible for right now all right but uh, probably it's also asking you to think more logically and not emotionally this time around okay so whatever relationship decisions you take right now be more logical and i think that's exactly what you're doing because in the outcome here we do have the death i'm going to clarify that before i open my mouth king of cups yeah this person was very rigid in the past that's what the problem is very very rigid very very stubborn out here you know but um i think here there could also be an issue where you were stubborn about what you wanted with this person here like you want that stability security you crave that you crave stability security this person out here stability security is not so important because it's like this person says if i love you if i'm emotionally attached to you and if i all my feelings are just for you right then the commitment doesn't matter marriage doesn't matter and you on the other hand yaar you know what i love you but you want to think more practically it's like yeah well so what i mean for you you want to keep your options open. i mean this person wants to keep their options open so that's your thinking and this is their thinking okay which is where there was a clash okay eight of cups in reverse yeah this person out here okay they they're coming back right but the problem here is there are still lot of delays out here this person is still repeating the same pattern here so what's happening here is they keep going around in circles with you they they leave you they come back towards you they leave you they come back towards you the problem here is that every time they come back to you right they come back to you with the same approach it's the same fucking energy out here you know so you guys could have had a lot of uh, breakups you know you know breaking up with the same person or this could just be a very on and off connection out here but this person tries to walk away from you they don't have the emotional strength to do that okay which is why they keep coming back but i don't think it's getting anywhere even if they come back right now unless and until this doesn't work out there is no new beginning okay this person is doubting themselves six of pentacles six of pentacles six of pentacles Yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you, keeping an eye on you, trying to gather more information about you, trying to know more about you, trying to see if you're dating, trying to see what's going out there, you know. And um, they're just trying to get as much information before they make their move. Okay, very immature person out here. Very immature at communication, which is why you could have got high. That could have been another blockage. Queen of Wands, please. What's the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, they say you're holding back. I see you're holding back. You're not opening up. So earlier you were very, very uh, generous towards this person. Okay, I think you were an open book to this person. I think you were an open book to this person. Just once. All right. Yeah. So where were we? Yeah. So they see you as very, very closed off. Okay. You're being very stingy this time. Okay. Very greedy with your energies, but you're blocking your heart chakra. Okay. You don't trust them. What's the nine of swords here? That's how they feel deep down. Damn. That's very. What's the nine of swords here? You know that can um, that can really um, mess with you mentally. You know, nine of swords here. They have a lot of four of swords. Yeah. See, this person's just thinking, thinking, thinking. The problem here is this is exactly why things don't move forward here. You know, because see, with the nine of swords and the four of swords here, this person is wanting to move towards clarity, but it's like they're in that place where they're so stressed and they're still trying to find clarity. Okay, so it's like they try to heal from the breaker, but at the same time they're regretting about what happened. Okay, so they know they messed up. They know they messed up. Okay, but uh, I think they're more in that energy where they're trying to contemplate. They're trying to you know go through, um, uh, trying to meditate. Okay, and just trying to like retreat basically. Okay, that's a lot of mental exhaustion too. Okay, the four of swords and paired up with the nine of swords. Oh my god. Okay, but they're trying to regroup themselves, trying to get their shit together. But I think they're sleeping on their problems for right now. Okay, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's why it's still not happening. Why is Ace of Pentacles in reverse? There's a delay here. See, yeah, I just saw that. This person's contemplating. This person is up in their head, 
you know late night constant tug of war going on in their head what do i do how do i approach this person should i approach this person there's a lot of inner conflict commotion chaos in their head okay so it's a lot of inner struggle out here okay and uh, they're not all with them all sides okay so they're like all over the place but the problem here is with this energy here they're just getting nowhere they're just running around in circles in their head okay and um yeah that's what i feel i feel they don't have control over themselves they don't know what they want or they know what they want and they're not sure if that's what they want you know it's like just it's it's a lot of um, in house fighting going on <laughs> that's what i say that's why this doesn't take off the world in reverse they they want to end the cycle but they don't want to let you go period why is the world in reverse why is the world in reverse Why is the world in reverse? Why is the world in reverse? I think um So they I, I think this person is also someone you know who's still not ready to break his heart. That's what I'm getting here. they are not even reconciling okay this person is not growing emotionally that's what i'm getting here that emotional growth and development that you need right in order to be with someone you know that's not happening that's why i see the two of cups in reverse is your advice which means that you are emotionally mature this person is very immature emotionally okay so this person needs that time out here they need that time out here give them that time i think this is better it's better that you stay away from them okay and uh just uh, let them grow up because it's no point it's no point see that's why they keep staying so immature right going and coming going and coming on and off on and off right what's the two of cups in reverse what's the two of cups in reverse what's the two of cups in reverse this person could be over indulging into alcohol also what's the two of cups in reverse yeah so what it's asking you to do is that um your advice is you know you reminisce them right you can reminisce them etc right but think about the good memories had this is your strong soulmate connection we have the two of cups and the six of cups out here right so it's a very strong soulmate connection out here but i feel that um with the six of cups here again i'm just getting one thing over and over again this person needs to grow up okay um if you are not getting that peace how many that equal give and take out here that openness out here you know it's not going to work out i think more than anything i'm getting here forgiveness is what i'm getting here you need to forgive this person before you get back to them yeah see now it makes sense if you're not going to forgive this person right even if this person comes back there are chances you're going to land up in the same place right because you're holding a grudge they're coming back towards you you're still in resentment out here what's the point how will it how will it grow you know in order for us to be with someone who we've already been with even if that person hurt us or that person was emotionally you know immature or unavailable if you're going to hold that grudge right no matter how many times this person keeps coming back to you because they love you you're going to keep taunting them or being sarcastic right and the mistakes keep repeating so this person gets pissed off they go away again they come back cuz they miss you you say the same shit again the same shit right so just forgive them i feel you should forgive them okay what's the death out here if either forgive and move on or forgive and accept them once they're ready to come towards you with that maturity what's the death here what's the death here is the outcome is this the transformation or are you any things for good what's the death here what's the death here is the outcome Yeah. I think your uh waiting game is going to pay off. Okay? I think it's going to pay off. This person is definitely coming towards you, okay? Once you end things with them is what I'm getting here. But I feel this person is coming towards you with a complete transformation. Okay? They're coming towards you with a transformation. They are changing themselves completely and um I think the decision that you made right probably if you're waiting for them or whatever this is progress progression this is moving forward okay now there can be two things out here okay moving forward here either you're ending things with them and you're moving forward towards other scenarios towards other avenues or this person out here is going through a huge transformation and they're ready to come towards you okay they're moving forward towards you with plans 
Okay, just take it how it resonates. But they are taking a step in the right direction if this is them coming towards you. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. And I'll see you next time.